Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the TI-84 or just any TI-84 to solve an amortization table. So first I'm going to have to go into TVM Solver. So we see that 9500 at 6% compounded annually. Right? Seven annual payments. Fill the amortization table below. And we already have the answer and everything. So, we have the N is 7, right? 6, 9,500. And let's just prove this here and just make sure that everything's good. And negative 1,700, or 1,701.78. Now, and when you are... When you have a... Um, amortization table inside the TI-84, you cannot divide or mess around with these things. The, uh, when you have compounding per year, like say if it was four and the I was still six, you would, you, you, all you would have to do is just do this. And this stuff should change. This should change, I think. Yeah, so that would change. So, in the amortization table, you don't you don't need to mess with all the other stuff. All you have to do is just um, um, plug the information as you see it, because the the table views each payment as an annually or quarterly. So if you don't if you put four or something like seven or something in there, it won't read it properly and you'll get the wrong answer. Now, to get the graph, I'm going to go ahead and clear this out so you can see what I, how I do it. So to get the graph table the way we want it, we want to go by each column. On the left side, we'll see one, two, three, of course. But what we want first is payment amount. Now we're going. We already came to y is equal to. So we're going. To, when we're in the y equals to, we're going to go to finance, and we're just going to go one down, and we're going to rip the information out of TVM Solver, its payment, and plug it into the y one, and that's going to give us our payment amount. So we already have this entire column. So next we're going to take the principal interest because that is the second column. And it's going to be x comma x. Next we're going to take the balance reduction which is the principal, the sum of the principal. And once again this is x comma x. The reason it's x comma x is because it's saying from this variable to the next variable. And then we're going to go to apps and we're going to say the balance, which is just right above here. We're going to take this. And we are going to see that table. Now, there's a way to ch check this. As you can see, this is right. And see, we'll see after the uh, seventh payment. See? negative three e to the ninth power which means after like you're paying 1708 1701.78 right so it overpaid that means that after that balance your balance is done you have zero it's saying that you have you're done with you're done with the payments if you if you want to prove that if you come over here you no longer have interest, right? You no longer have a really a balance reduction. Well, you do, but it's it's not calculating it anymore. But now you're in negatives. The balance reduction is a negative instead of a positive now. So that's how you know after the uh, the period uh, periods. See, so you have seven periods here. A seven payments, but after the seventh payment, you ha no longer have um, any more numbers because after the sixth payment, you had 1605. But this is just zero now. 
and we can proof this table if you come over here and basically put this number in 9500 times 0 0.06 and that's how you would proof this table to make sure that your table is correct we already know the payment is correct right but to um to like really get the number and numbers that you want into the um amortization table you would want to multiply the principal which is basically i is equal to prt right principal rate and time so you're going to multiply 9500 times 0 0.06 to get the very first payment on the interest right or just the the interest of the um, total that you want to find right because in order to get your table properly you need to be able to check your numbers and the best way to do it is just to start with the interest and if the interest lines up then your 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 amortization table is going to be correct but if you don't check it then this could be wrong and this one will be wrong this will be wrong this will be wrong and it'll just be a landslide the fastest way to check the the amortization table is just to come over here uh, second let's break that second table and it's just to check our um, interest, which is right there, 570. And all those values should coincide after that. So that's how you know you have the correct amortization table. And also, something to remember, as I talked about um, at the first of the video, each one of these uh, X1, X2, X3 is a period. So that's something that students really need to keep in mind that when they are um, um, looking at the X values this is going to be years because it's annually so after seven years you're going to pay off that debt right so that's pretty much how you do the um, amortization table inside the uh, the uh, TI-84